Greetings, Daniel Persedo for Adobe Photoshop, and today we're going to continue the journey down the 3D menu to an item that is grayed out because it is only available when you are opening textures, 3D textures. I'm going to go ahead and select the Hulk here, or I can select double click here on the Hulk body, open this texture up, and all of a sudden you can see the texture here. I'm going to now look in the 3D menu, create painting overlay. Now has these three options. Wireframe will give you a UV layout that you're accustomed to seeing. Shaded will give you a, a shaded grayscale version of the, what's the current lighting and the textures. Vertex colors will give you a diffuse map based on the vertex color data in your mesh. Let's go ahead and use wireframe here. And I'll turn on the UV overlays and you'll see these are the same UV overlays that you would get if you were to view either one. They're useful for painting and finding things out. The difference is these are actually pixels. So if I select the smudge tool, I can actually smudge these pixels around. Um, and versus the other one here in the 3D properties panel, this is an OpenGL rendering and it's just not available. You can't smudge it at all. Let's go ahead and turn this off for now. I could say I'm, I use this like as a multiply on my on my map here and I could save it and you could view it back in Photoshop here and you can see it here on the figure. Um, go back to that and I could choose the other option, shaded, which might not be useful in this method, but what if I were to create an overlay of that um, to give it a little punch. I'm going to go ahead and save that and switch over and there you go. So those are the options. Let's go back and look at them one last time. I'm going to open the hair, create paint overlay, wireframe shaded and vertex colors. If you have any questions, leave them on the channel and thank you for watching.